All right, I have a quick and simple project for us to do today. We're going to make caramel from sweetened condensed milk. That's it, that's the only ingredient. And we're also going to cook it in either our roaster oven or your crock pot. You can do four ounce jars or eight ounce jars. I like to do the eight ounce jars. That's normally what I do it in. Um, we are going to cook it on high for four hours or on low for eight hours. Now in the roaster oven, there's really no high or low setting. You have to pick a temperature. So the equivalent of high on a crock pot is about 300 degrees. So I'm going to set mine right around 300 degrees. And at the five hour mark, I'm going to check it. Just because I'm doing the larger jars, I want to give it enough time. If at the five hour mark, it doesn't quite look dark enough like caramel, I'll set the timer for another hour and then we'll check it. All right, we're going to leave about that much headspace. So I filled it to that lower rim there, to the neck of the jar, and that'll allow enough space for us to can that properly. Now remember to not use vinegar on your towel when wiping these off because vinegar and milk do not mix. Fall is my favorite time to do this because we have so many apples from either going apple picking or now the orchards we have at our new home. We have lots and lots of apples. might even be able to find some good sales at your local grocery store with all the holidays we have coming up and pie holidays and <laughs> all that you might be able to find some good deals now I'm going to take my clean lids and I'm going to put them all right on here do fingertip tight just like any other canning project. Normally I would put a little splash of vinegar in my canner because we have well water and as you'll see at the end these are going to be very foggy due to mineral deposit but I don't want to risk any vinegar siphoning into the jars or getting into the jars in any way. So I am not going to add vinegar today to my, uh, my 
roasting oven. From seven cans of sweetened condensed milk, I got two, four, six, eight, nine eight ounce jars and three four ounce jars. So your ratio will be two cans will give you three full eight ounce jars. One can will give you three four ounce jars. So if that helps you figure out how many cans you need or how many jars you'll be able to fill, hopefully that helps. I do not have a regular size crock pot anymore. I passed that on a couple years ago, but what I do like to use for this project is my roasting oven. It is an Oster 22 quart roaster oven. I use this thing for so many projects, for applesauce, tomato sauce, making broth. I absolutely love this. This is one of the best gifts I think I have ever been given. I, I use it so often, I'm considering getting a second one because it has been so useful to me, especially during canning season. I have to somewhat uh, strategize what I'm going to do when because I utilize this so often and for so many different things that sometimes it's hard to get all my projects in in a short amount of time because I'm limited with just one roasting oven. So something to consider if you make large batches of things, it's definitely worth the investment. We're going to put all of our jars directly in to the bottom of our slow cooker. I am going to fill this up so that I have at least one inch over the top of my tallest jars. Hopefully these little ones don't float. <laughs> Since I have four and eight ounce jars in here, I am going to set my temperature at 300 degrees. That's about the equivalent of the high setting on a crock pot. And I'm going to check these at four and a half hours. The smaller jars may be done around that time. They may not. I'm giving it an extra half an hour, so four and a half hours, just to give this some time to heat up. I didn't want to put room temperature jars and room temperature condensed milk into a hot roasting oven or a hot crock pot. Um, that's just a risk I didn't wanna take with jars cracking and whatnot that extreme temperature change can really uh, cause some problems. So I'm going to check it at four and a half hours. Maybe I'll take out the little jars, but I'm anticipating having to leave the large jars in here for about seven hours. So that'll take us uh, into this evening. So it's gonna be dark when you see this again. <laughs> Five hours later, it is not done yet. Too light in color. All right, seven hours later, let's check this out. Perfect. And I do have a white film on the outside just because we have well water and that's a mineral deposit. So it won't hurt anything. It'll wipe off once these are done cooling and they've sat for 24 hours. We'll be able to wipe that right off. 